Welcome back to your favourite destination, everyone. It's Destination F, Volume 19. Here we have someone moving house. We know how annoying it can be going back and forth and doing multiple trips, so it's great to see this cheeky wanker pack their car so creatively. I won't lie, it is a little bit suspenseful. Some may say it's a precarious situation going on. It's a breach of road rules. But time is money. If he can pull this off, it's a big, big time saving. It looks like... Yeah, it was a shit idea. Cut to a bustling, busy restaurant. These blokes are having pre-drinks before hitting the club. One of them senses a disturbance in the force. Yo, Tony, did you hear that? He says, I think there's a buffalo outside. What are you talking about, a buffalo outside? Holy fuck balls! there's a buffalo! One minute Tony is getting buzzed. The next minute he's in a whole new destination. This bloody condiment is like, can someone put me back on the shelf, please? The buffalo meanders about. It keeps a lookout for the cops. Maybe someone hired it from the dark web. I kind of feel like there was a hit on Tony. This whole vibe has an assassination attempt vibe. The buffalo hides and works on its alibi. Here's a classic stuntman. Let's go on a slow-mo journey to destination fucked. He abandons his mode of transport and simply decides to plummet into the abyss. It's not a bad dismount, to be honest. Good recovery. This dickhead has invested in some Batman technology. Unfortunately, there's more to being Batman than having loads of money. You need skills and a proper driver's license. He's fucked. Vigilante career over. Here's a happily married couple. Three, two, one. Bam! Regrets! A hodgepodge of regrets. He's clapping for himself, acting like it didn't hurt. Clearly he's concussed. The miso is wondering if it's too late to return him. This fella's mates have convinced him to swim with a big fish so they can make a cool thumbnail for their video. He's one of those friends that gets excited about all your ideas. For the 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 ground? For the two, for the thumbnail. Oh, 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 if it's for the thumbnail. They give him love and reassurance and lower him towards a big fuck off fish. Occasionally he questions if they do have his best interest at heart. Don't hold the fish. I reckon don't, don't hold it. We saw a wannabe Batman earlier. Here's Superman. He's a genuine Superman candidate. Cheers to Alan for sending this one in to me, aussieman.com slash submit. It was a day like any other day until Alan went to destination fucked. His legs started applying for permanent residency there. This is a very smooth trip to destination eft. Cheers to all me snow based fans. Overall, I have rarely discussed how each person deals with their arrival into destination fucked. There goes your payload. Some people are able to laugh about it like Red Shirt man. He's jovial. Others go into a deep state of despair. Like our guy hugging the pallet jack there. It's important to work out what works for you. Laugh, cry, embrace, deny. Everyone has their own organic or developed strategy for facing this brutal destination. Check out Aussie Man Shop.